Hello guys, welcome back to today. We're going to be talking about the freedom signing of James Neal going to the Calgary Flames. Now James Neal, of course, played this past season with the Vegas Golden Knights. He had 71 games played, 25 goals, 19 assists for 44 points. He had, of course, a percentage of 51.5, which is not bad at all. But he was pegged to be the best scorer in Vegas, and that didn't end up happening, of course. He got drafted in the expansion draft from Nashville onto Vegas. So he was pegged to be one of the best picks from that draft and one of the obvious ones. But he only has 44 points this season and wasn't fantastic in the playoffs either. He really wasn't that great all around for Vegas. He, I would say he was a lot better for Nashville. But of course, he only had one year in Vegas left and he goes to the UFA period and ends up getting signed by the Calgary Flames. Now, the Calgary Flames signed him at five years, so that gets him until he's at age 35, which is understandable. James Neal is already, you know, seemingly on a decline, so it's a bit worrying, but until age 35, that isn't terrible. They also signed him at $5.75 million per year, and of course, $5 million, .75 per year, which is five years. So that's a lot of money for James Neal, a guy who only scored 44 points and is already on a decline. This contract... It's not good. It's not good, and it probably won't be. I don't know why teams are interested in him. I felt like whoever signed James Neal is automatically going to regret it at $5.75 million. That's pretty steep for a guy who only scored 44 points and is already on a decline at age 30. It just screams to me, mistake, but we'll see what Calgary does. I mean, Calgary needed a top six guy like him. Like it or not, for Calgary to really get into contention, they really needed to get and make some splashes in free agency. They've already made that Dougie Hamilton trade, and now they're doing this. They needed a top six forward for that core, and they go out and get James Neal. Now, he might not be top six caliber for a lot of teams, but for Calgary, he definitely suits in there. 44 points last season. He doesn't play, he hasn't played like a top six forward in Vegas, but if he has a bounce back season with Calgary, we can definitely see him, uh, you know, being that threshold. It depends on who he plays with, because I don't know if, you know, he gelled that great with Vegas, unlike the rest of the team, but it depends on what he plays with. I think that he'll have a better season, around 55, 60 points even. I feel like he'll be worth it in the first couple of years, but towards that end of it, I feel like he'll rapidly decline. And with Calgary, this just screams a, you know, impulse buy for them. I mean, with James Neal, I feel like he was one of the guys that just had a lot of red cards and a lot of warning signs from him for him to see that some other guys did not have. And five years for a guy who was already declined with Vegas, with the Vegas Golden Knights who were leading the Pacific Division and got to the Stanley Cup Final, it worries me. And it worries me for Calgary. Calgary is my, one of my favorite teams. I think they're my fifth favorite team. But this trade, or not this trade, but this signing, just it doesn't look good for them. Five years. It's not great, and I felt like they probably should have gone after another guy in free agency, you know, a little bit of a cheaper guy. James Neal is a fine player, and he's one of my favorite players, the real deal James Neal. But it just screams that this contract is just not good at all. I mean, almost at $6 million, you're paying a guy who only scored 44 points. It's concerning, it's alarming for Calgary, it's shown a lot of warning signs on how they're going to play next season and their future with that contract. It doesn't look too good for them. But Calgary does fill a need. They needed that top six forward. And yes, they do out, go out and get one. James Neal is a top six forward in my eyes. And I think that he can be one with Calgary as well. But it just screams a contract that won't work out. Maybe if he bounces back with Calgary and he has a few good seasons, that will end up working out. But I just do not see this working out as he was already declining. Uh, he's not the player that he once was. And with James Neal, he's a fine player. But I don't think he's worth the $5.75 million per year contract that Calgary is giving him now. But I really do hope it works out. James, real deal, James Neal is one of my favorite players in the league, and I really do hope it works out with Calgary Flames, but I just don't know if it will. He's already declining, and the warning signs, they're just screaming at me. And with Calgary, I feel like it's going to be a mass mistake incoming, and it might already be one. So that's going to be it for you guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment below what you think of this signing. What do you think of the capital? What, what do you think of the term? What do you think of the salary per year? And what do you think of James Neal joining the Calgary Flames? I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.